Hi guys, so I've now got all the parts I need from Villiers Parts to start getting the S10 carb rebuilt, so um, yeah, I'm just going to show you through the process of putting it all back together. So these are the new parts that I got from villiersparts.co.uk. Um, new air filter, um, looks really nice, it's one of these sort of wire wall interior ones. Um, and I had to get some replacement clips as well. Um, I already had the original ones, but it seems that they were, the S10 came with different types of air filter. Um, and so the ones I had were for a sort of smaller size, if you can see that fil that clip there compared to the uh, newer one. Um, obviously it went for a different size, so those old clips wouldn't uh, fit around. So if you're doing one of these cars, make sure you got the right clips for the filter that you're using. Um, Here's the what comes in the repair kit from here over. Um, so you got new gasket for the uh, top bit, the um, fiber washers, the um, the needle valve and seat for the float. Okay, so I'm going to start on the float assembly. So you need to take the replacement valve seat. Um, I can't quite work out what size the uh, hex pieces on here. Seems to be somewhere between 10 and 11 mil. I can't find an imperial uh, measurement that fits either, but um, take that and the fibre washer and that screws in here. Okay. Um, so the next piece is the needle valve. Um, so I'm not sure if you can see, but just about here, there's a little notch, and that clips into this uh, top clip on the float. So um, needle valve goes that way with the seat at the bottom, and then the float goes over the top and clips in at that point. So the needle valve goes in the bottom there, and then it's a bit fiddly, but the uh, float goes in on top. Um, if you hold the float down with the screwdriver, and then get some needle nose pliers, and pull the needle up. You could hear that click into the position there. So now that's in place, there's a little bit of movement in the float there. Um, so the next thing is to put the bit for the fuel line going into the carb. So you just put that on pointing towards the uh, direction of your fuel tank. Um, and then you take this nut and the uh, Placement fibre washer, and that goes into that hole there. Okay, and that seems to be the same socket size as well. Okay, so this is the uh, top cap of the carburetor. Um, I didn't really do much to this, and there's not really much to disassemble. The uh, bolts on the corners here are captive. Um, the choke mechanism here, um, I'm not sure if you can see the, the choke plate there is crimped around the end of the uh, rod there, so I'd have had to bend that open to get it off, so it just wasn't worth uh, stressing the metal. Um, that top bit there is supposed to be painted but I haven't got around to that. Um, this plunger here, I'm not entirely sure what that does, I think it just allows um, air into the float chamber so it doesn't get a vacuum, but um, yeah I just gave that brass bit of, bit of a polish. Okay so the next thing I'm going to do is the throttle assembly, so here the uh, needle comes through this hole and the throttle cable comes in through this hole and seats in that hole there. Um, so, start with I'm going to do the 
set the engine to run at the leanest position on the needle. So that'll be putting the uh, retainer on that highest notch there. So then that goes down and seats in that hole there. Okay, so the next thing to do is setting up the uh, throttle cable. So um, unfortunately, if you can see there, there's a bit of a kink in the uh, cable, but it's still pretty uh, good movement going through there. So um, the first thing is the uh, spring here. That's supposed to stop that kink happening. And then on the uh, top plate here, you can see I've already screwed in the uh, idle adjuster there. So it goes through that hole there with that position. Now you're going to want to pull the uh, cable through to get as much sort of space to work as possible. Then slide the spring over there and then holding onto the uh, needle there so that it doesn't fall out. You want to put that over the cable on the spring get the uh, end to pop out that hole and then seat it in the middle there. Now just to try and hold everything together I'm going to try and pull the uh, throttle cable through to the controller end as much as possible to stop it all falling apart when I try and assemble the rest of the carb. Okay so the next thing to do is to put the top assembly into the main carb body. Um, you've got this gasket here, so I'm just going to slot that over here into place. There we go. Um, so the tricky thing is, is trying to get all of this into there and get the needle lined up with the uh, hole in the carb body. Um, something to be aware of is that the, I'm not sure if you can see the uh, hole in the bottom there, but the um, hole for the needle is towards the back of the carburetor here, so you need to make sure that that's oriented correctly before you try and assemble it, which this one isn't, so I have to twist that around. Okay, so this is the really fiddly bit. You can just about see through the air intake there whether it's lined up or not. And it is. And you just push that into place. The uh, choke can be a bit catchy, so uh, push that through. And then you just need to screw down these bolts here. There we go. One thing I haven't mentioned until now is uh, this hole here that goes through to the bottom of the uh, needle valve. Um, this bolt here goes th through into it, um, but unfortunately it looks like they've sent me the wrong o-ring for that one. You see there's a lot of play in there. So um, I'm going to try and make my own uh, gasket for that later and uh, give that a go. But um, for now the next thing is putting all the air filter stuff on so you got these two clips here which are held in by two screws at the front there so the clip goes in from the side like that and then a screw goes in from the front into that hole There's quite a bit of play in the clips, but uh, they're held in securely. And 
Okay, so now you've got the new air filter, and that just fits in there like that, and then these clips go over the side like that. Now I've just got to put this clip on the back here that um, holds the carb onto the uh, governor body. There we go. Okay, so to try and get around the issue of the uh, wrong size fibre washer, I've um, cut out a couple of washers from uh, normal gasket material just to a couple of them to get the thickness. Um, now I'm going to give that a go, see if it can be petrol tight. Okay, so let's uh, screw this in. Okay, so uh, hopefully that should hold. So there it is, that's the uh, S10 carb rebuild. Um, if you've got any comments or suggestions, then uh, leave them in the comments down below. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, then uh, click subscribe and catch the rest of the videos. Thanks, bye.